Good morning. We are the Hammond family, and we are delighted to light this fourth candle of Advent for love. Well, why is that? Hear there? this reading from Isaiah. Um, for a child yeah. has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Isaiah spoke to a people called Chosen, to a tribe called Israel with the light of hope. Gabriel came to a town called Nazareth, to a girl called Mary with the light of joy. Mary went to a place called Bethlehem, to a stable called the nursery with the light of love. Okay, Messiah, it's time to light the candles. Can you touch them? Almost done. As we light our fourth Advent candle, we rejoice with Mary, for the love has flesh. Come now, O child of Mary. Come now, O Prince of Love. Come now, O Prince of Love. Amen. Come now, O Prince of Love. Amen. A reading of Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. Jesus is born in Bethlehem. Angels tell shepherds the good news. Listen for the word of God. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee 
to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over the flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and had gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Word of the Lord.
nature to sing, and let heaven and nature to sing. 